everything in this video can be found on a public domain in the full disclaimer down below. Hey, welcome to the Danger Zone. It's Ashley. Lots of love and many blessings your way. A very special thank you to everybody who's contributed to this video in one way or another. Princess Diana's most favorite flower was the white rose. And they outlined the entire sunken garden with white roses in her memory. Just a really pretty place. Okay, y'all, let's get down to the business. I'm going to tell you what I see, what I read into all of this, and Prince William is not going to have a come by y'all moment anytime soon. So, Megan, you're not the only one. When the brothers came into the garden, you could tell that Harry has already been instructed by Megan to smile, laugh it up, make it look like you're at home again, everything's good, and we're all happy. She's notorious for doing that. Remember, William is so disgusted by Harry, he can't even stand to be in his presence. That's what I've picked up. And even though the brothers were, you know, free to go and do their own thing while they were in the garden up until the unveiling, Harry would not leave William alone. He was on his heels, hot and heavy. Harry had to butt into every conversation that Prince William was having. And for some reason, it was this conversation that Harry seemed to be poking at Prince William for a reaction. I noticed that Prince William did not want to give Harry the attention that Harry was craving from William. Harry took the conversation over and William glanced over at him. And then William jumped back into the conversation. And Harry jumped back into the conversation over him and stood there and stared at him in his direction until William broke and looked back at him. That, in my opinion, is an antagonistic move. And it was either anxiety or anger, but Prince William's vessels on the side of his head started bulging out as he clenched his jaw and he started speckling out in like a red hive and the back of his neck turned beet red. I believe he came really close to giving Harry what he wanted, which was a nasty reaction. And instead, he just gathered himself and he walked off. And of course, Harry was hot on his heels. Like I said earlier, he would not leave the man alone. Speaking of heels really fast, Mama Megan must have gave him an allowance for some brown kicks because he was proud of those shoes. He was literally modeling these stupid shoes. That's what it felt like. So Prince William decides he's going to walk over to the statue and talk to the guys over there. And no sooner was his back turned that here pops Harry. He just shows up out of nowhere. I believe Prince William picked up on the fact that Harry was desperate for the attention of these people as well as himself. And he just signaled to Harry, hey, look, you go ahead and take this. So instead of them together unveiling the statue, he allowed Harry to do it like a big boy all by himself. And Harry stepped back to admire the statue, but seconds later, his behavior changed. It was so strange. William must have been, like, nice to him for a brief second and let his guard down because Harry literally skipped over to him trying to get his attention again, trying to carry on more conversation with Prince William. I felt really bad for Prince William. He was super uncomfortable being there around Harry. He knew all eyes were on them and that if he had any kind of a negative reaction, it was going to be to their benefit, Meghan and Harry's, and not the royal family. So he really had to keep his, you know, his composure. He had to keep it together. But he said something, I noticed, to Harry at one point, and Harry started twisting the ring on his finger like he does when he's nervous. I want you guys to pay attention to William's body language when he has this conversation. Now, this is frame by frame by frame, a couple of seconds in between and he would not turn and face Harry Harry was trying to evidently say something to him and he just flat refused to face Harry he didn't want anything to do with it he even tilted his head away from Harry y'all that's a huge red flag when it comes to body language usually that means get out of my face get away from me I don't want nothing to do with you so they're supposed to have a meeting after the unveiling. The brothers, and they're trying to you know, have a reconciliation for the family's sake. But by the body language of Prince William, I just don't see that happening anytime soon. There's no trust. They've lost all trust the entire family has for Harry. When he was there for Philip's funeral, he took everything that took place back to Megan before his flight even hit the tarmac. 
also wanted to talk about what I picked up from everybody else at this event. Y'all, their energy was very flat when it came to Harry. Nobody was excited to see him. Nobody. Folks were trying to get out of his way as quick as William was trying to get away from him. Which brings me to the end of the event, which I found hilarious. And if you get a chance to watch it, you need to pay attention to the end. So finally, Prince William breaks away from him. He notices Harry's walking a different direction and he goes off into the opposite way. And the moment that Harry noticed that his brother and everybody else was going in the opposite direction, he literally spun on his heels in them fancy brown shoes. And did a U-turn. He went into a trot to catch up with these people. At one point, he even shrugged and did some stupid little hand gestures. And was like, I don't know. And once he caught up with everybody, it was like he was standing slouchy, catching his breath. But it dawned on him. Nobody wants to be around me. And you could tell there was something heavy on his mind. For the first time during this event, he was not involved in the conversation. He was just standing there staring. What does he expect from people? You know, he has literally tried taking the monarchy down brick by brick with the accusations of racism and, and lack of help and all kinds of garbage. And they're not finished. They have so much more planned. Like their production company, they've said that Megan has been interviewing all sorts of people to help them with their production company. Harry is going to be a producer. They've been working on this documentary, putting it together all about Diana, her life, and her death. Prince William made a request to Harry. Please don't open that can of worms. But they don't care. They're doing things their way. Anyway, it seems like Megan and her PR people have been feeding the media again. I found a couple of stories that were so Megan. Like Megan asking Harry not to add any fuel to the fire. Keep it cool with Prince William during the event. What is she talking about when she's the one that started this fire? Not to mention that whole statement throws Harry right under the bus. As if every bit of this mess was created by Harry and Harry alone. Mama has to remind him to be on his best behavior. And then we have this headline. Prince William just needs to finally accept their happiness. Meghan and Harry's. Get over it, William, in other words. And CBS News is reporting how the royal family is truly missing the star power of both Harry and Meghan. I guess Meghan had that slip through to CBS via Gail. She works for him, remember? This I found completely hilarious. Harry says it's a juggle to balance two children. <laughs> okay, we'll just go with it. I, I don't even know what to say about that. I'm about to share with you what my buddy shared with me yesterday. While Harry was gathering with different children and families at the Well Child event, Lilibet came up. And the little child asked about Lilibet, wanted to see a picture like children would. And keep in mind, it was the parent of this child that posted this on social media yesterday. Instead of acknowledging this child and what this child had to say, Harry got so pissed off at, you know, the mention of Lilibet in a picture that he gets up, ignores the kid, and walks on to the next. How horribly disrespectful can you get towards a child? And of course, this parent was furious. He needs to feel thankful that this parent has none of my blood through their veins because I would have called him out on it. I would have embarrassed him. I would have made him cry in front of everybody. Had it been my kid he disrespected. Anyway, y'all, I can't wait to see what they have in their bag of tricks to pull out next. I thank you for being here with me and I hope you're having a great day. I'll see you soon and we'll talk fast. Y'all stay safe and be blessed.